Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over something cool that I had discovered about a week ago from the Twitch streamer uh, Native, pro player for Halo. Uh, former pro player, now he's just full-time streaming. Um, he uh, showed me that there's this cool thing that you can do where you can create your own custom background in Halo the Master Chief Collection for PC. You can make it anything you want. You can make it a picture, you can make it a full-on video, which is what I did. Or you can um, make it a GIF if you really want to, just an ongoing GIF. Um, but I wanted to give a shout out to the two uh, YouTubers that are prominent in the Halo community that really uh, helped me understand and how to um, accomplish this myself. Uh, that is Patman and that is General Heat. They're both huge Halo YouTubers and I thank them for um, making tutorials about it. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, uh, first off, uh, what my menus look like. It took me a very long time to make it because I decided to go above and beyond and actually uh, make my full-on <clears throat> background for it. Um, so, I'm going to go into Halo right now and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Yep, that's right. I was able to replace the stupid intro cutscene that they have for this game by default with the original Halo 2 boot up screen. But it gets better. It gets a lot better. So this, as you're looking at it right now, is my own custom menu background that I created. I went through all the cutscenes that I liked from Halo, and I put them together in a chronological order and it took me a good four hours to do and I loved every single minute of it it was a lot of fun to do and the music you're hearing right now is not the menu music it is my own custom music that I took from the Halo games and put it with this video file and all you have to do for if you want your music to play from the video file that you create is just simply mute the uh, menu music with the settings. I even decided to go through the trailers, the various trailers that came out for Halo, and put that in here too. So this is the Remember uh, campaign trailer for Halo Reach. I, I even cut it up to shorten it and everything. But these are not the only menus that you can change. You can change any menu in this game. So like for example, if I go to campaigns, I have a custom background for every single campaign in this game that's on PC right now. So ODST and 4 are not in the PC version yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'll do something for it when it comes out. So this is my background for Halo Reach. This is for uh, CE Anniversary. And all I did was I went on YouTube and I just I typed in uh, uh, like Halo X or whatever uh, ambience. And it was pretty easy to find, and all I did was just download the videos, and then I put them in the video format for uh, this game, which was the pink. This is my Halo 2 background. It's a uh, new Mombasa. Halo 3. And then, even better, for the OG fans, remember when you would search for a game in Halo 3 or Halo Reach and it would have that cool ambient noise in the back whenever you search for a game? Well, thank God I was able to find a video of the Halo Reach uh, background with the noise. So, just a cool like quality of life change with it that I enjoy a lot. And it's... I know it might seem stupid, but searching for games might take a while, so this just helps with that, having this noise in the background. I don't know why, but that's just, I guess that's just the me thing. Okay, so now we're going to get into how you actually uh, start making your own backgrounds for Halo. So what you want to do is you go to your internet browser, and then go to this link. I will put it in the video description. And you're going to click on the rad video tools and you're going to install it you will need 7-zip because it is a 7-zip file and you're going to have to um <clears throat> extract it that way you will need 7-zip after you have done that take whatever video you want so go to your video files 
And the weird thing is that I learned from uh, Patman's video that if you are planning on using a uh, MP4 file, you have to make sure you have a QuickTime player uh, application installed. I don't know why. You don't need to play the video through QuickTime player. It just needs to be there. I honestly do not understand. Um, but yeah, if you MP4 for a quick time, and then if you want um, WMV files work and MXF files work, um, basically if it's a video, it will work. So now we get into the fun part. If you have not already done like the full customizable thing that I did, so I went in, basically took a bunch of cutscenes, edited up my own video. If you're just taking a video, so let's just say I'll take, uh, I don't know, I'll take this video right here. We're gonna go into the Rad Tools, under Rad Video Tools, and then you're gonna go to the section of the file that your video is located in. We'll choose this H2 opening. Click it once and then go to uh, bink it. Now this is very important, very important because the file that you need to replace, the extension is BK2. Now I'm not gonna do this because I've already done it, but you just uh, BK2. And then for the audio, make sure compressed is on because if it's turned off, it doesn't work for some reason, but then just put the value to zero so then it just won't sound compressed. And then you're just gonna click bink. Once you click bink, the process of it um, being converted takes a very long time. Um, my customizable menu length, like the MP4, MP4 file length is like 15 and a half minutes long. And that took an hour and 40 minutes to convert to that file. It takes a very long time. I even, um, for like the multiplayer menus and the, the campaign menus that I put in there, those were all like one minute long because I cut them down to one minute, but that took like, I want to say like two minutes, no, that took like six minutes each for one minute clips, so it takes a long time. So once you have that done, you're going to want to find your Halo NCC files in Steam. So what you want to do is, you're going to go to local disk, go to your computer, and then programs times 86, find your Steam, Steam folder, go to Steam apps, go to common, and then you're going to find the Halo, so Halo Master Chief Collection, and then click on MCC, and then you want to go to content, and then movies. Now you're going to see this entire list of all the movies that come out. So here's the, here's the very, very important part. So now we have that open. Here's how you get this done. Go to your videos, and you're gonna have a file that comes up here. My substitute is right here. So you have a file that comes up here, and you're gonna name it whatever you want it to be. It's not gonna be this name. But in order to replace it with the one that's already in the game, you want to find the uh, original file. So this is the original file right here. I decided to put a one after it just to, um, if I ever wanted to get rid of my custom one and I still have the main uh, menu from 343, it's still in the game, but it's only executing the one that I made because it's not, because this is the, the original file name that it's looking for to execute it. So it's not executing this one because it has a one in front of it, so it doesn't recognize it. So what you're gonna, all you're going to do is you're just going to copy the name of the file, of the original file, and then paste that into your new uh, created custom uh, background. And then make sure, you're, like I said before, put the original like with whatever you want in front of it so you know that's the original, and then just drag it over. And then, as soon as you've done that, it should work. Um, if you do have any questions, I will try to answer them in the comment section as best as I can, and if not, I will probably just refer you to the videos that uh, helped me instruct me on how to do this awesome new thing that you can do with Halo. Uh, apparently you've been able to do this since uh, Reach came out, and I didn't even know about it. I just figured it out, uh, f I found out about it like two weeks ago. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, like I said again, if you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will try to help you as best as I can. Thank you for watching. Thank you.